Thanks for joining for the sea turtle drawing. Remember, if at any point you need to stop or pause, feel free. I'm gonna show you a real quick version before I slow it down and break down the steps for you. Enjoy! Hello, so to begin today, we're gonna to be drawing a sea turtle. You're gonna to wanna to draw almost like a football shape or an oval with a pointed end. And then you're going to parallel that line. I've drawn a horizontal line across the center and then I've paralleled that as well. And I've been drawn vertical lines um, to create little box shapes. And now I'm gonna turn those into hexagons. So also I'm gonna go back into that parallel outer edge and start making hatches or lines. And this is just going to be the edge of that shell, and I'm going to go all the way around. And I'll go back inside the shell, and I'm going to create uh, more hexagons to create the patches on the back of the sea turtle. I'm going to build his head, or draw his head, and make sure I don't point it or round it too much. Now I'm going to use some vertical and diagonal and curvy lines to make the fins, front fins, rear tail, and rear fins. Now I'm gonna start going back to adding details. I'm gonna add some speckles and dots and patches along his fins and then possibly add some shading. I like to go back and forth until I feel comfortable with the type of shading that I do add and lots of details and designs. I usually can look at a picture and get ideas of what I want to add, but sometimes I go overboard and I want to add more and I want to take away and I want to do the details to what I like and that's okay. You, this is your drawing, no two will be the same just like in nature. So enjoy and have fun. Add as many spots as you want, go back and add shading. Remember that when you're adding shading in the darker areas, you want to go over them multiple times. Do you have to use your pencil in the same direction? No. This is your choice. This is freedom. Enjoy drawing. Please also notice sometimes I blend with a paper towel. I'm going to go around the edges and add a little bit of a bump to each one of those shapes. And the reason I do that is to make it look more natural. I'm also going to take my eraser and erase some of the highlighted areas to make them look lighter. Or maybe just like the sun is hitting it in a perfect way. All right, the rest of this video is just kind of a slower walkthrough of the entire thing, so you don't have to listen to my voice the whole time. So if you'd like to continue on, great. If you are finished, that's fine too. I hope you enjoyed um, your drawing. I hope that you remember that it doesn't have to be the end. You can continue by creating an ocean scene all around your turtle and enjoy every step of the way. Please stay posted for more videos done um, for drawing with Luke and Michelle. Take care!